What's going on guys? Alex here with TFL Bike, and I'm here at an awesome location right now with the Trail 125. We're up here at our new ranch. This is called the Tumbleweed Ranch. So in this video, we're kind of doing two things. We're saying a little bit of a goodbye. I don't know if this is gonna be the last video with the trail, but it's leaving us soon, and we figured we had to get it up here at the new property. So this is where we're gonna be filming a lot of our new videos. So let's uh, have some fun with the trail in the snow and take you for a tour of the new property. All right, so before we get rolling on two wheels, just want to kind of show you around a little bit. Um, we do have a little bit of snow here. It snowed, I want to say like four or five days ago. So we're going to be hanging around in what's left. I think if we came here right when it snowed, it would have been way too much for that trail to handle. But anyway, if you look behind me, the property extends well past those trees, basically to where the mountains start getting real steep. Uh, everything from this fence line you see running up here over to the next fence line is part of the property um, and I think it actually even goes a little bit beyond that past that fence line so this is a really good area to test you know how much power a bike has coming up the hill which we'll do today um, there's also some woodsy stuff back there and some uh, more articulated sections that we're definitely going to be testing some more uh, you know full-fledged dirt bikes on in the future um, but yeah Big open field there. We're probably gonna make some obstacles with a, with a back back loader, skid steer. I don't know my construction terms, but we'll probably you know plop some rocks out there, make an obstacle course. We've got a fishing pond down there too, so hopefully uh, get some little mud action going there if the pond overflows or something. Uh, and then we've got all this over here, so more open field. Great for doing snow nuts, which it looks like some of the other team members were up here doing already. Um, then we've just got, you know, a shop back there, a little house, uh, and probably right here where the snow dot area is, we're gonna put up a big barn uh, for working on stuff, because this shop we're probably gonna grow out of pretty soon. Pretty cool blind behind case right there for shooting, so, you know, we can keep out the, uh, the neighbors, I guess. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's, uh, let's throw the helmet on. We'll do some laps around the property, kind of give you a closer look at everything, see how the trail does in the snow with these not very snow capable tires, and then try and make it up this big hill. See how it goes. All right, here we go. I get the honors of breaking in the Tumbleweed Ranch on two wheels. And I think this is about as perfect as a bike as I'd want to do it on. So, before we head down the hill and check out all the cool stuff, let's just see how this does in the snow a little bit. Only a couple inches on the ground, and of course, got some dry spots mixed in, and a mixture of crunchy and soft snow, and the crunchy stuff likes to kick you off to the side. So you can tell I almost just ate it there. But once you're in the soft stuff like this, you gotta give it a lot of throttle, but it's actually pretty stable. Kinda use your feet as skis a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't get stuck. I was gonna say quite as quickly as I thought, but spoke too soon. Nice. No motorcycles are really made for the snow, but at least with this one, it's light and small enough that you can kinda toss it around. Yeah, we're not getting up that. <laughs> oh, come on! We we're very stuck. And my, uh, my visor's fogging like crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little hole right there. There we go. All right. So yeah, this crunchy stuff, very, very sketchy. I don't like it one bit. All right. I am sweating. We're gonna take it nice and slow. I'm gonna try my hardest to keep this bike on two wheels. All right, so yeah, that's kind of the snow nut area where eventually we're gonna have a barn, shop, house, 
where we park when we pull in and stuff, but this is the exciting stuff down here. Welcome to our new testing area. So nice steep hill, good test of, of brakes and whatnot. Oh, this is so sketchy. This is so sketchy. Oh my God. I don't like this at all. I am not being dramatic either, Case. Who's editing this? That was actually pretty terrifying. Okay, now we're off. So, follow these tire tracks here. So that hill we just came down, we're calling Sniper Hill because of that blind that's at the top for shooting. But over here is another obstacle which we are calling Nathan's Crack. Let's go check it out. All right. Wow, I'm sweaty. So this is Nathan's Crack. It is a big ravine, basically. And this is a great test of approach and departure angle for cars and trucks but also could be a little good dirt bike jump for motorcycles. We're just testing out tires, trying to get up a steep, slippery slope. So yeah, there's Nathan's Crack. That's Sniper Hill. Let's keep moving, see if we can't make any fresh tracks here. Oh yeah. I really don't want to fall because I know this whole field is covered in poop. Oh, I feel bad that that bike's just screaming the whole time, but what else am I supposed to do? All right. More fresh tracks. Here we go. To the back of the property. Man, if we had one of the, the old trails with the proper low range, we'd be all set. I'm going to go over here where it looks a little more shallow. Probably have a better chance of getting moving, and I was right about that. I'll tell you, before we came out here, I was like, oh, I don't have any heated gear. It's gonna be freezing. Well, I totally overdressed. Riding a bike in the snow. <laughs> Especially fresh powder like this. It takes a lot of energy. Oh, there we go. Now we got some traction through here. Back here is where we're planning on putting some obstacles. So I think up this hill here, we're gonna carve out some dirt, put some rocks, make some rock crawls there, and maybe even cut through this little creek right here, make some sort of bridge or water crossing. So yeah, this is the test area. Try and get a little more over to this side. So as you can see, extremely rocky, very rutted out, steep branches, trees. It's gonna be a good test for a lot of vehicles. Maybe not today when it's so snowy, but eventually. Let's see if we can get turned around here. I wanna try climbing up Sniper Hill. This is a lot of fun. What a fun bike to take out in the snow. It's doing way better than I thought too. And I know if I fall, it's not gonna hurt the bike. It's probably not gonna hurt me. That's how soft the snow is. All right. Oh, 
Okay. Now I'm gonna try climbing Sniper Hill. And the way down was terrifying, so I'm hoping the way up's a little easier. I don't have gravity fighting me. I've got a little bit of a crowd here watching it too, so let's see what we can do. I'm not going for a quick time here. I'm just trying to make it to the top in one piece. Still keeping the feet down, using them as skis. That way when I do tip to one side, I can just plant the foot. Staying where it's rutted out by some of the other cars and trucks that have driven through here. Now we're getting to where it's a little icy. This is the sketchy part. And I'll be glad when we're back on dirt, which we are. Boom. Oh, and it's still slippery. And I bumped second gear. Not the cleanest run. But we made it to the top. Sun's poking out now. Beautiful view. Andre and uh, Tommy are over there filming another video. But yeah, what a blast. Definitely fun riding this around in the snow. Does like to get stuck, but definitely fun. Today on a TFL hike, I get to climb Sniper Hill with my own two feet. So there you have it, our first video up at the Tumbleweed Ranch, and I had a blast making this one. The trail's definitely not a snow bike, but it was a ton of fun mobbing around in the snow. Did a lot better than I thought it would actually. You have to use your feet as skis a little bit, but it was super fun, and this bike just feels like it's totally in its element right now. So many more videos to come from this new property. Just kind of wanted to show you around and show you what's going on. A little bit of behind the scenes here at TFL. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to head on over to tfl-studios.com so you don't miss any of our content. And we'll catch you in the next video.